Okay, uh, Kevin, Brooklyn, hi guys. Uh, this is the set. These are the designs we will be showing. And the products. So just see if it's uh, horizontally or vertically is fine. And uh, whatever you just check if I'm doing, you can see. It's visible if I do here. Yes, we need to zoom in. Zoom and zoom. Yes. I have to work here. Right? Yes. You see. Hmm? Okay. Okay. So I think it's fine. Something else on mute. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Um, I hope you can hear me and see me properly. So, uh, my name is Dina Umarova and I am a, a distributor uh, of a Blue Sky brand in India and also the owner and educator in Blue Sky Nail Academy in Mumbai in India. Uh, so welcome everybody for the uh, live nail art class. Um, looking forward to see you all and um, we have a lucky draws, we have uh, beautiful gifts and we will be showing you nail art for today which is the cat eye nail art. So let me show you and if somebody wants to go along with us you can go along if you have a cat eye, you have a gel polish with you ready so you can do it. If not you can just write it down how to do this nail art and then maybe you can do it later and then uh, tag us, tag Blue Sky Global on Instagram or Facebook, Blue Sky India, and we will love to see your uh, work. Thank you. So now we do our setup. <clears throat> um, this nail art we'll be showing you. We used a uh, chameleon cat eye nail, uh, the cat eye gel polish. We used new. Uh, gel polish which called diamond cat eye and I would love to show you this and 3d top coat so all of those we used gel paint cat eye gel polish uh, normal gel polish and uh, matrix gel for the tiny lines gel paints and 3d top coat and matte top coat so we'll go one by one um, okay so I would like to show you the diamond cat eye. Uh, diamond cat eye is uh, just a cat eye coat which you can put on any nice shades, preferably nudes. And you can see um, how beautifully it works on the nude shades. So it's completely new product, it's available with us. And I would love to tell you that you will have a set of cat eye gel polish as a winner random picking uh, gifts for the lucky draw today so we have two gifts of uh, a set of three bottles of cat eye we have uh, uh, six bottle of cat eye set two sets and the uh, big prize uh, final will be starter kit 10 ml from blue sky uh, so all the best for you and let's do some nail art So the first what we are going to do is um, a cat eye which is in the middle. I used for it a black gel polish and chameleon cat eye 5D CE06. It called Ease Up. It's a beautiful shade. Yeah. So when you do it on the nails, you have to apply of course base coat and do the steps of nail prep. But for the uh, tips, I applied two layers of uh, black gel polish. So that's a Blue Sky Black Gel Polish 80518 Black Pool. We applied two layers and cured each layer of the gel polish. Next step, I will apply a Chameleon Cat Eye ease up so 
So we apply the same as a gel polish. It's a chameleon cat eye called chameleon because it has not just one shade, but it reflects two shades together. So when you use magnet, it will give a beautiful chameleon effect. In this part, it's yellowish green and the darker green. So we have the blue sky double side magnet. And we create a nice shine here. We don't create as usually line. What we do, we create a ball, like a nice round ball from one side, from another side, from down, and from up. So we do four sides, make maximum of uh, shine in the middle. Okay, and now if you see it's shining the way you want it, We keep it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Uh, next step, we will take a Blue Sky Gel Paint. That's the product, Blue Sky Gel Paint. And I'm taking black color. Uh, gel paint is used for the nail art. It's quite... Um, uh, um, opaque colors so you can make nice lines with it it's thicker than the gel polish but uh, uh, it's not an embossed gel right it gives you nice lines and uh, we take some of gel paint so it will be a little too thick so what I will do right now I will mix it with the uh, black gel polish i will give just one drop of uh, black gel polish here to make consistency a little bit thinner and we mix it right we make it smooth take your nail art brush zero or maybe zero three which you're comfortable with for the nice thin lines so 30 seconds is done it's cured Now we create our designs. Uh, you can create it randomly. It's up to your imagination. You can just make some nice curvy lines. So nice thin gel. It, this designs are really quick and cat eye is being popular for many years now in the market but um, if you use your imagination if, and if you do um, some nice beautiful designs with it you can always use your cat eye as a new product because it's amazing and Blue Sky has a lot of variety of cat eye and they are not um, stopping surprising us with new product and everybody who loves Blue Sky, who is being following us, you can see that we have a beautiful cat eye collection. So there is a, a six shades of classic cat eye, like gold, silver, green and purple, red. And then they came out with Chameleon and then 5D, which was absolutely su successful. And now we have a new beautiful um, cat eye, which I called Diamond Cat Eye. Okay, so I created it randomly, as you can see it. And now we'll make it thicker just to create this type of design in some parts where it's connected so i take the same gel paint and i make it in the curvy style just pick up from some sides you can see yes ok 
Okay, and leaving it thinner from another side. I remind you guys, we're using a gel paint black and gel polish 80518 black pool to keep this consistency so it's not very thick. And goes smooth and there we go maybe thicker here and I will do a little frame on the sides go around your nail So it's like a frame, but it's ending up uh, beautifully connecting, interconnecting our design. Okay. So now we connected our design. And here what we got you can see that the gel paint and gel polish together it doesn't run uh, you can create runs in your design easy uh, and we keep it in the lamp for 60 seconds I'm keeping it in the LED lamp for 60 seconds uh, initially cat eye was done like express nail art it's really quick and uh, uh, designs are amazing so even this one we decided like it can it's again it's a express nail art as you can see it doesn't take much time but it's beautiful and it, it's good you can charge it of course as a nail art and save time uh, yours and your client but with this beautiful outcome uh, now we take a 3D top coat. It's a no wipe top coat, so it's not sticky. 3D, no wipe top coat. And matte top coat. Uh, matte top coat in blue sky, we have a sticky and we have not sticky one. So it's absolutely your choice. If you have a matte top coat which is sticky, you have to use cleanser wipes. Uh, after curing in the lamp you need to remove the sticky layer with the cleanser uh, but we will be using not sticky matte top coat today so now on this design we apply matte top coat We cover everything, all the sides, with matte top coat, gel paint and a cat eye. And we cure it in the LED for 30 seconds. Now while it's in the light, we take a 3D top coat. It's a nice thick top coat which is used for uh, nail art design you don't use it for as a normal regular top coat it's only for design and inbuilt products like a tiny accessories or um, designs like this so it's it gives you a 3d effect whatever design you make you might make some stone out of gel paint and then you put the 3d top coat and it will look uh, magnified in 3d okay we 
have a matte top design and now I'll use a brush the tiny brush and I will apply 3d top coat only on some some of them right so we are not applying on the gel paint black we are applying only on what is inside to magnify it so let's take the 3d top it's a drop so it should not be flat and apply starting from the middle and then you push slowly on the sides avoiding gel paint and doing it in the corners a 3d top coat is not runny but i suggest you to use a one by one maybe flash keyword for 10 seconds so your design doesn't run anywhere And then we take next drop and we apply to the next one again. You can see? We start from the middle, put a drop, make a round ball and just with your tiny brush, nail art brush, go on the sides and create a drop inside the gel paint and always see that it's a, a volume is there from the side mm -hmm. maybe you can see it yeah in the middle there have to be a volume and I do flash kill 10 seconds and we take another drop and we use maybe this one so uh, the point in this design is we don't apply it everywhere we don't apply on all sections of our design we apply it on few of them right and it's better if you apply on some which are in the middle don't use the ones which are next to cuticle area or uh, maybe mm, the tip because it will be too bulky for the client to wear right so this middle area should be covered so now i applied one more here flash cure 10 seconds next drop Just when you take it on the brush, make sure you have a drop. I'll put a little bit more. It should be drop on the tip of your brush. Blue Sky has just everything is required for nail art. It's just up to you what you what what nail art you're doing, but we are backing you up with all kinds of products. Uh, so here we go. We go in the middle and slowly we are taking it inside the corners and I can see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I can see how um, it's exaggerating a cat eye effect and that chameleon effect uh, light green and dark green it's really beautiful mm. yeah flash cure 10 seconds Taking another drop and we'll put it on this big one. Okay, so middle, round moves, slowly taking it to the corners. It's really easy to uh, play with 3D top coat. You don't have to rush, it doesn't run anywhere. And still it's easy to use okay flash cute 10 seconds 
and maybe I'll do just one more somewhere on the other side, that's it. Okay, so probably we will be doing it in some area here, yeah, in the middle, on the smaller one. So if it's a smaller section, you take smaller draw, and if it's big section, you take big draw, but don't interconnect it with each other. Leave a space. Okay, so now we cured it for 30 seconds in the end, so all drops will be cured together and your design is ready. So first we, we did a just flash cure so it doesn't run anywhere while you're working on design but now in the end of course you have to cure all together for 30 or 60 seconds because it's a final as i said 3d top coat is not sticky and your design is ready so here we've done it you can see where the 3d top coat it shines beautifully and then the rest is the matte top and from here you can see the volume yeah so our first design is done now for the second one for the second design uh, we will be doing this one it looks like a liquid stone which is very very beautiful cat eye we used here and that is uh, Chameleon cat eye surprise. Chameleon cat eye tree surprise. Um, so I'm taking another tip. And here you can use different, uh, whatever you like. It, it depends on the, what kind of cat eye you're taking. I'm taking this, which is coral, uh, probably like a coral yellowish. So we will be using coral pink more. Uh, we'll be using a pink base 7408 you can use any any nude shade maybe uh, whatever matching with it if you're using green cat eye you can use maybe some other one the light color light nude mint or green again as i said it depends completely on your imagination 30 seconds cure a gel polish so I'll use two layers because this uh, 7408 gel polish we use mostly for uh, like it's a nude and a little bit transparent so we use it for the French manicure. Uh, I will use two layers of it. And again if you're using it use the two layers because we don't want any lines on it on your design. It's a gorgeous nude shade of pink. Again, 30 seconds cure. Uh, now we will use gel paint black again. Gel paint. And I pre-mixed it here with the black gel polish. 80518 black pool. And we will make a frame and our design for the liquid stone. So first we make a frame around your nail. It gives a beautiful effect. it a little more visible on the tips you can see Mm 
make sure that uh, gel paint is even on your brush. We framed it. I'll take a little bit more of uh, gel paint and now I will create a stone. Let's see. So again randomly Make your one bigger and one little bit smaller. Not even, but I'll cover it up. Now I'll do flash cure for 10 seconds. Because I'm touching it. So it gets smudged. So it doesn't get smudged the sides. I'll flash cure it. And now we need to fill up this area with the black for our cat eye gel polish to be on top of it because chameleon cat eye we have to apply on uh, any dark gel so again I want to tell you guys that a, a cat eye is not only on black you can create your collection having one or two cat eye say for example you have a red cat eye uh, you can create your collection of cat eyes you can use it on black gel polish you can use it on uh, wine color gel polish and it will give a different effect so don't make it too thick because it's a gel paint we don't want it to shrink in the light just fill it up nice and thin A smaller one I'll put little gel polish so it's not that thick mix it with the gel paint and fill it up you can see so why we are not using only gel polish because it's more liquid and there is a chance it will be just uh, uh, flowing from your design and this kind of lines you will not be able to create with the gel polish so that's why we mix it with the gel paint it's a great product okay now we cure it for 30 seconds uh, again now I take this uh, gel polish chameleon cat eye tree surprise and I put it here and I using my nail art stain brush we create a liquid stone um, so on black on top of it we apply Cat eye. Fill it up in your area. Maybe you can leave a little border on the side. It's a gorgeous color. I love this chameleon cat eye surprise. It's very, very beautiful. And anyway, chameleon cat eyes, they are amazing because they have dual colors inside them. Love it. And we 
apply it in a BB stone. Okay. And now we use a magnet. We take our magnet and we create effect. We create a cat eye effect from both sides. You can see. So you push a uh, shine in the middle, and same with this one, and we cure it for thirty seconds. Okay. How easy can it be? It's like uh, we use only this products here. And of course, don't forget to use base coat when you use it on the natural nails. Guys, be active in our comments because you are going to win some exciting prizes. Cat eye, chameleon cat eye, diamond cat eye. And the big prize will be a starter kit, which includes a 24 watt LED lamp, base coat, top coat, files, buffer and three pieces of 10 ml gel polish. Okay, so now once our design is ready, the nail art, we use matte top coat. We apply it all over the nail. Again, to create a design, this 3D top coat, right? So your matte top coat, when you cover it, it will not be sticky. Please cure it for 30 seconds. Uh, same old magnet, same cat eyes, same products, but amazing, exciting uh, nail art. So I hope you can see that. Now, to create this uh, beads, caviar beads, just to add a little bit sparkle to it, to just like a finish, we uh, take beads, caviar beads. We mix it with 3D top coat because it's not sticky and it will be easier to pick it up with your nail art brush. Okay. Now I remind you if you have a matte top coat which has a sticky layer, you need to remove the shine, the, the stickiness with the cleanser wipe. So removing it. And now we use 3D top coat to make our art. Again, I take, you can see, I take a drop and I put it in the middle. Big drop for the bigger stones because of course you need more to cover it up. So I'll take a little bit more of 3D top coat. And you can see that this drop which I put already, it doesn't move anywhere, it just stays there. So beautiful and it magnifies a color of a cat eye. Visible? Yes. And we cover it up. nicely but don't make it flat don't make it flat make it uh, 3d right so it have to be a big drop of course on the sides a little bit lesser but in the middle if you can see it's a big beautiful drop now Let's make the second one. It's a smaller stone, so we take smaller drop. We keep it in the middle, in the round moves. We take it and push it to the sides. 
and if it's too much you just remove it this way like around take it on the sides and finish it in the middle okay let's take it to the LED and cure it for 60 seconds because it's a, a thick gel uh, we need to cure it through right so it's cured fully the, the drop so once our drops are cured so they don't spread we will add a little last step we will add this caviar beads Okay, 60 seconds and here we add cover beads to cover this line mixed with 3D top coat in a nice thin line. It's also gold and our cat eye is also gold and beautiful. So it's matching. And we take more. We use it on this side. Don't take too much 3D top coat. We don't want gloss to go on design too much, but just for our beads to be there enough. it and fix it where you need it to be fixed and this one is like a glass right you can see it's done it's not sticky and it's magnified glass type okay and I'll keep just a couple of them maybe here just for the complete of this design and again, because 3D top coat is not sticky now, once it's cured, it will be secured on your nail. And yeah, so this is the final step of the design. Cure it for 60 seconds. The last step I always cure for 60 seconds to make sure that it's all done and beautiful. There is no problem with uh, gel because we flash cure and we should not forget to cure the last 60 seconds okay so the last design which i want to show you uh it's the the design from here we used chameleon uh, diamond cat eye the diamond cat eye coat which i showed you and again we used some matrix gel gel paints and uh, 3d top coat So we use some pink base here uh, for the 3D top coat, for the diamond cat eye. As I said, a diamond cat eye can be used on different shades. We created here with some, as you can see, it's beautiful and it's all uh, nude, right? And it gives this gorgeous shine on different favorite nude shades. So right now we will be using it on 7408, this shade. this design is ready so we have this two done okay and now let's start with the third one again uh, I repeat myself if you are on the tips I'm not using a base coat because you don't require it for the tips for the nail art plastic on the plastic tips but if you of course when you do it on the customer you will have to use a base coat uh, so you do a normal nail prep and the base coat. Now we apply one layer of your chosen nude gel polish. It gives a beautiful shine to it. Yeah. 
and cure it for 30 seconds. And now we will be using a diamond cat eye and I will show you how to do with the magnet this effect which I was showing how it's moving. Right? So you can see that it goes round and round. So when nail moves, it goes like that. So for how to keep the magnet, I will be showing you right now. Um, we use on the whole nail, diamond cat eye. It looks silverish, but with the different days of the gel polish, it gives a different effect. And now we take magnet. And we try it from, keep it from one side until you see that it moved a little bit on the side. Then we take it from another side and you see it came up. And now we go from down you see that the gel is moved and then you go from this side third side till the desirable effect so then you can see it's moving right you keep it in the light lamp 30 seconds so it is keep this magnet one side till you see that the line comes a little bit then you keep it from another side from top and from bottom, you play with it. You, if the, the also life hack is if you played with it and you see that something is not there and uh, the cat eye disappeared, you can reapply the cat eye. You can reapply it and again use the magnet and work on it. I suggest you to practice on this kind of tips first. So you will create this design and then on the customers, of course, you will do it much faster. Okay. So we've done our base. So it's like no cat eye, cat eye, right? It's beautiful, shiny cat eye. Now we have to apply um, matte top coat on it. Uh, gel pin, yeah, uh, matrix gel, sorry. First we have to uh, create our design. Okay, so we use matrix gel. I use black or love matrix, zero, one, if you can see that. Um, in blue sky, we have matrix gel in... Oh God. Okay, uh, sorry guys, we got discontinued. But uh, where we stopped is, here we have our cat eye, which we cured in the lamp for 30 seconds diamond cat eye with the 7408 uh, base okay and now i will be using a uh, matrix gel black or love zero one <clears throat> uh, as you can see if someone some of you don't know the matrix gel you will be surprised. It's it's amazing for a thin lines and a spider web type of designs. So we make with it, we lift it and make. So we start with the matrix gel and we create our thin lines just over the nail. You can create it this way yeah so you see the thin lines you won't be able to draw that thin with the uh, gel paint very sorry about the interruption so where we stopped again I'll say step by step on this design which uh, we are working on right now this design we applied uh, base coat we applied a beautiful pink 7408 shade as a base one layer cured it for 30 seconds then we applied a diamond cat eye 
on top of it using our magnet from four sides to create this beautiful effect and now I'm taking matrix gel to create this thin lines for my design in matrix gel we have a uh, black white silver gold and blue sky I have red and different colors of matrix it's really beautiful product you can uh, achieve this thin lines creating it okay so now I'll flash cure this for 10 seconds so just to prevent smudging and I take my uh, premix of gel paints, one second, gel paint with the gel polish. And make your brush fully in the gel paint. Yeah, so it's nice and thin lines, it doesn't move too much. Okay. And now. Okay, so now we will create a flower of our leaves here with a thin line, just nice leaves. Uh, you don't have to make them thick or covered completely with each other. You can make different sizes leaves like smaller or bigger. It's up to you again. take the last one and I keep it here so I created my leaves and in the middle again I maybe I'll take a matrix gel design <coughs> just take one tiny drop and put it in the middle and create a line. Okay, so I took a little bit more matrix and I created this line here. Again, I keep it and I create a tiny line. You can also use a gel paint and just don't press the brush, just use it tiny little pieces side. Okay, I'll color this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's simple very fast and design is ready let's cure it for 30 seconds um, i uh, suggest you to use it for to cure it for 30 or 60 seconds because when you use matte top coat it i don't want it to be smudged okay because if you use a little bit more of gel paint uh, you need to cure it properly let's cure it for 60 seconds now okay Uh, you can clean your brush and we use again matte top coat so this uh, these two designs are ready if you guys came late we created these two beautiful designs and you can see that uh, the 3D top coat is shining and it's beautiful. And you see that Chameleon Cat Eye is just giving you dual shade. Mm. Yeah. And here, here we go, if you can see it better. And this one is some are matte and some are 3d designs and there's gorgeous designs which is really quick um, it, you can't see it here but it's 
like a nice beautiful pink shade you can use any color under it whichever you want okay this design now is cured let's apply matte top coat on the whole nail cover it up and cure for 30 seconds <clears throat> There is an endless possibilities with the cat eye, so I want you all to take out the uh, creativity from you and your imagination, guys, and create something really beautiful using Blue Sky. A uh, huge range of cat eye products and tag us to see what can be done. Maybe we can learn from you as well. And here we go. Um, if you have a sticky matte top coat, you clean it with the cleanser wipe, blue sky cleanser wipes. Okay, so now you can see the matte effect. And the last step, we use 3D top coat. Okay, again, I will take it on my plate a little bit so you don't use the brush from the bottle here because it's really tiny. Uh, lines and tiny leaves so i will take my nail art brush okay and we take a drop for the bigger leaf bigger drop for the smaller one smaller and i put it on top of my leaf don't forget we are not making it flat Maybe first when you put it, but then just take another uh, drop and keep it in the middle. And in this round moves, distribute it. So it gives you the proper 3D effect. Now I keep it for flash cure 10 seconds. And we are taking another drop. And we go for the next leaf. nice easy moves round moves and create your 3d design so what happened that when you apply on matte top coat a 3d top it shows a beautiful shine of diamond cat eye in it and if you can see it here when we move like a 3d top yeah it's it gives that effect the shine so the rest is like no shine but in this 3d it's shining a lot so we keep it at dash q 10 seconds again and so we go with all our leaves you can create a flowers you can use uh, this beautiful pink uh, cat eye you can use any color of the cat eye which you prefer and like this one is also so beautiful and you can create some flowers with the lines gel paint and then use 3d top for enhancing it again i take my drop and i distribute it over the leaf this leaf is tiny so maybe the 3d top will not go anywhere in the smaller one so i will finish all three together Okay, and finish in the middle and last one it's like drops of water very 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 pretty okay let's keep it for 60 seconds last because it will be on our nails right and it's little thick because of 3d top coat drops we take more product so we keep it for uh, in the light for 60 seconds in led um, so we 
already created these designs today with cat eye with the chameleon cat eye surprise with chameleon cat eye is up which is green pretty one and with the star of the show diamond cat eye which everybody loves as it gives us that gorgeous effect of the cat eye on the nude so this is the design and the last design it's not sticky as i said the 3d top coat is not sticky and we created one more just using cat eye a little bit of gel paint 3d top coat and the magnet 3d top coat and blue sky magnet um, So I hope you all enjoyed the, uh, that simple nail art which I was showing you today and if you have any questions regarding our products uh, you can contact us, we have available all the products and of course Blue Sky Global and everybody have it in the country so I hope you loved it and the way we love uh, the products of Blue Sky and we, it inspires us to create some new stuff all the time so I hope it's the same with you and we inspired you a little bit so please create your own nail art and uh, tag Blue Sky Global and Blue Sky India for us to see it we will repost it and we learn from you too thank you and bye bye